Okay, guys, here is the um, notes from the natural logs. So when we talk about E, E is basically an irrational number. with an approximate value of 2.718. And it basically occurs at the base of exponential logarithmic functions that have real world scenarios. And there is just basically what they're saying is things grow at an exponential rate of um, E in um, nature and in science. So, the exponential function with a base of E is called a natural base exponential functions. And basically that's f of x e to the x power. Now logarithmic functions with a base of E are called natural logs. And an example would be log base E. Um, of a, let's say log base e of a equals x, and that could be abbreviated as um, ln a equals x. So basically what that's just saying is that log base e is written as ln, and that's an l. Okay, so that's just fancy language. I'm not going to go through all of these um, just because in the interest of time, but if you've got this log base e of 24 is equal to x. So it's the same thing except for instead of writing log base e, we're going to write ln 24 equal to x. So this would be ln x is 9, ln 72 is x plus 5. Okay, now these same type of thing. Instead of ln, it's going to be log e of x equals 58. So you take your e based raised to the 58th power e equals x. So you just have to keep in mind that whenever you have log base e, it's the same as ln. Whenever you have ln, the base is going to be log e. Okay, so here you've got e to the x equals 6, and e to the 32 equals x minus 9. All right. Now we use the exact same properties with natural logs as we do with um, regular logarithms. So we know that when we have, if we're condensing, if you have ln of x plus ln of y, that's going to be the same as ln of x times y. This is the exact same property that we've used if you have ln of x minus ln of y, that's going to be the same as ln x divided by y. These are the same properties that we use with logarithms, if you guys remember. And the last one that people seem to have the most trouble with is ln of x raised to the b power is b ln and keep in mind that when you multiply expo when you multiply numbers with exponents you're adding the exponents but when you're raising an exponent to another power you multiply the exponents so that's going to come into play as well so here you've got a plus sign when you're adding you still have the logarithm of 3 times 16. Keep in mind, I'm still keeping this ln here. ln 63 
divided by, remember the 2 comes up as the exponent, 3 squared. So that's going to be ln 63 divided by 9, which is ln 7. And this last one, I'm raising 64 to the 1 3rd power, and we know 64 to the 1 3rd power is the cube root of 64. Oops. So we've got ln 64 to the 1 3rd power times x squared. 64 to the 1 3rd power, the cube root of 64 is 4, and then you bring your x squared, you do something more you can do with that. Alright, to expand, you do the opposite. So we're going from the multiplication to the addition. So we're going from the multiplication of 5 times, 5 times x to the addition. So this is going to be ln 5 plus, what are we multiplying 5 by? x. ln x. That's how you expand it. Here we're going from the division to the subtraction. But we've got this number here. I'm going to go ahead and distribute. I need to distribute that exponent first. So ln a to the 6 over b squared. Now I can subtract. And if you want to do it in multiple steps, just so that you see, so I don't skip steps, ln a to the 6 minus ln b squared. And then I take those exponents out to the outside here using this property. 6 ln a minus 2 ln b. And that's your final answer. Now, you don't have to go through every single one of those steps, but it is good for you to understand what is going on there. So here, if I wanted to change this to the exponents, ln m, this m is going to be to the um, 2 thirds power. This is my power, this is my radical. Times, I'm multiplying here, n to the 1 third power. So now if I'm breaking this down, I'm going from multiplication to addition. ln m to the 2 thirds plus ln n to the 1 third. And then I bring the exponent over 2 thirds ln m plus oh, 1 third ln n. Now, if you wanted to rewrite that in a little bit less convoluted way, you could rewrite this as 2 ln m plus ln m all over 3 because they're both being divided by 3. That's a little bit more advanced. All right, moving on. So we've got three types of problems that we need to solve, and you need to be familiar solving all three types. One is where you have one log equal to one log. These are the easiest types of problems. When you have one log equal to another log, then you just set the logarithms equal to each other. So this would be 4x minus 27 equals 15 minus 2x. They're both logarithms, so they have to equal each other. Then I just solve, add 2x to both sides, add 27 to both sides, and you get, um, 42, divide by 6, 
and there you have it. So this is where you've got one log equal to another log. You just set them equal to each other. Now this one is another problem where you actually have to condense because you've got multiple logs on one side. So you need to condense to get one log equal to another log. So I'm going to condense this side into ln 72 divided by 4. And I'm going to condense this side into, I'm multiplying because I'm adding here. I divided because I was subtracting. I'm multiplying because I'm adding. I'm using my my property rules that we just talked about. This is going to be 6 times, oh I'm sorry, ln 6 times a minus 2. So now I've got a log equal to another log, which brings us up to here. Okay, so 72 divided by 4 is, I think that's 18. It's 18. So I've got log 18 equals log 6a minus 12. I just distributed the 6. Now I've got a log equals to a log, so now I can just write 18 equals 6a minus 12. Add 12 to both sides, 30 equals 6a, divide by 6, a equals 5. Okay, that's your problem too. So you've got one log equals to another log, then you've got the problems where you actually have to condense first to get one log equal to another log. Now you've got where you've got a log equal to a number. When you have a logarithm with an exponent here equal to a number, now notice my exponent, this is where my variable is. So this is where my variable is. When my variable is with my log, then I need to put in exponential form. When All right. So here I've got a base of e, right, because ln equals base e, e raised to the second power equals 8x. Now I have to keep in mind, this now becomes a number. There's a number right there. I can put in my calculator, second e raised to the second power, 7.389 equals 8x. Now I can solve that by dividing by 8. You are trying to figure out how to get a number. And this is 0.236. I'm going three decimal points, so since this is a 6, I'm going to raise it up to a 4. All right. So now I've got a fourth type of problem where my variable is the exponent. When the variable is the exponent, then you need to take the logarithm. So when you've got, when the exponent, when the variable is the answer or the number, then you need to take the exponential form. But when you have an exponential form and you're trying to find what x is and x is the exponent, then you need to take the logarithm. So I'm going to say log base e. I'm going to just write this. Of 57 equals x, which is basically ln 57. 
Now, if this wasn't a base E, this is where you'd use your change of base formula. But this, now this is a number. That's a number. So I can plug this into my calculator. LN 57, because it's going to give me a number, 4.043 equals X. All right. Here's another one where your exponent is the um, variable. When the variable is the exponent, you take the log. So we're going to do the same thing with this one. When the variable is the exponent, so first, however, I want to divide by 5. I want to get the e, I want to get this by itself. So I'm going to divide by 5 and get e raised to the foreign power equals 19. This is still, my variable is still the exponent, so I'm going to take the logarithm. Log base e of 19 equals 4. And you can skip this step if you want. I'm just trying to show you that these are the same. I don't want to confuse you. I just want to show you what's going on. So now I've got ln 19 is 2.944 equals 4n. Now I need to divide by 4. So I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4, and I get n equals 0.736. All right. So those are your four different kinds of problems that you need to know how to do. These ones over here, some of them require factoring because they turn into binomials and trinomials. Hope that helps.